this is how to make a stapled mask. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is sanitize your work area, sanitize your stapler, and wash your hands with hot soapy water for at least 20 seconds. You start by tearing a perforated sheet off. We want the top edge to have the fold and the bottom, the open end, to be facing towards us. If it's not within an eighth of an inch or so, you're going to refold this so that it's in half. To start with, you're going to want to fold it all the way in half. And now you want to fold it around an inch up, just from that top edge. And then hold that fold in place, flip it over. And you want this new top side now to be the same size fold. Uh, make sure you get a good crease in there. So you're going to want to have your fingers go underneath here and you want it to be an upside down T. While you got your um, middle finger and your thumb holding the fold in place, you're gonna put your index finger down in the center. And you wanna make sure that this crease remains in the center as much as possible. And then you flatten it out, and make sure that that's creased. Now you're gonna to wanna to flip that over You have your rubber band, you put it over the one side, and we want to fold this around three quarters of an inch from the end, and make sure that you try and keep the folds as tight as you can to make sure that we don't staple the rubber band by accident. You got to pull it tight. The rubber band will go over the stapler. Uh, when you staple, you need to watch your fingers and you need to push hard. First staple and second staple. And now we are going to do the other side. So we put the rubber band around the, the whole thing. We fold it at around three quarters of an inch and pull the rubber band tight. Put the rubber band over the stapler, watch your fingers, push down and push down, and you have completed your first mask. The most important thing is that when you staple it, all the staples are facing the same direction. Otherwise, when somebody's using it, they could scratch themselves. And also when you staple, that you staple hard. If you don't staple as hard, the staples will end up kind of poking out a little bit. For this one, the front of the mask is gonna be the side that has the pleats on it. And then this is the back of the mask. Pop it open. And this top pleat really makes sure that your nose gets a good tight seal. And these are the ear loops. So they'll go around your ears and make sure that the mask is, is held tightly to your face. So the first mask you're gonna to wanna to put on yourself to make sure that you don't contaminate any of the rest of the masks and make sure that you keep this one and don't include it in the kit.